Hi Spit fans and welcome for this review of the last GP2 weekend of the season. I have to say that it's been a bit difficult for me to do this as there was no sprint race. The sprint race has been cancelled because of a heavy crash. Thankfully no one was hurt. Uh, on turn 3 of the first lap involving a load of cards and involving some tech pro repairing so they had to cancel the race to avoid getting late for Formula 1 so I will mostly talk about the feature race so let's go for the top 3 and the flop 3 of the last old GP2 weekend Top 3 goes to Nathanael Berton. He has a good end of the season, if I can say, as he had a top 10 in this race and he also had uh, the fastest lap, which is pretty much amazing with Lazarus. And I think it was good for Lazarus to have a very good last race this season before they changed to Prima Power Team in GP2. Top 2 goes to Raffaele Marcello. I know he has already been in my tops last week, but yeah, he did clearly his best race of the season there, uh, with where he finished second and um, he had a good time management to make his strategy work um, against Mitch Evans. He couldn't fight with Stoffel van Dorn, but he could fight pretty much easily with Mitch Evans and that's really good for the Italian driver as there are rumours that claims that he will be out of the Ferrari programme next year and as I speak right now he it will be uh, testing with DTM uh, in DTM with Mercedes so maybe Rafael Marcello will just leave single seaters and that would be a real shame because he has talent and I just wish Ferrari would give him another chance in GP2 to prove himself. And top one goes to the one and only Stoffel van Dorn. He finished this season with a win. Again, another one breaking the record of uh, Paso Maldonado. He scored 11 wins. 10 in feature race, which are the most important ones in the weekend. And really, Stoffel van Dorn is clearly the best driver, not an F1 yet. And it's really a shame that he doesn't seem for him that he will be in F1 next year. I hope he will have a good year in Super Formula if he goes to Japan for Super Formula. And I hope that he will be back in Formula 1 when either Van Alonso or Jensen Button will leave next year. Let's go with the flops and flop 3 goes to Arthur Pick. He had maybe the pace in the first laps of the race but then he completely lost it. And I don't know what happened during his pit stops but he ended penultimate of the race which was clearly not normal for him and I think uh, it was good for him to end this season he was he was invo even involved in a crash in the beginning of the sprint race so I think it was good for him to step back and uh, to if it's good uh, for him to have the season ending because I don't think he could take much more uh, bad luck for the season. Flop 2 goes to Colin. I just can't understand how such a great team can be so bad this this year in GP2. Um, this weekend they had two 3.5 drivers with Shen Jalil and Dean Stoneman and both of them DNF'd uh, in the future race and I want to even talk about the first stupid DNF of Shen Jalil who is the first one to crash in that bit, uh, that bit exit in uh, Abu Dhabi I thought, I didn't think he would be the first one to do this but apparently we had to wait for 6 years before someone crashed in that uh, exit 
But yeah, it's clearly a shame for Colin when you think that last year they were third of the championship with Felipe Nasser and now they are just nowhere to be seen this year and it's a real shame for them. And flop one goes to Pierre Gasly. Again, he had a perfect Friday. Again, he completely lost it on Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, he just didn't have the pace. We had an explanation because of the ties for Bahrain, but now we just don't have an explanation for Abu Dhabi. And of course, he was the start of um, the crash in the sprint race, even if it was not 100% his fault, um, it's still seen as it is his fault and it's really a shame and it was time again for him, for the season to stop for him because I don't think he could have handled this anymore. GP2 picture of the weekend is the GP2 sprint race cancelled for the first time in history in the main series. I'm not talking about the Asian series of GP2, but it was the first time the race was cancelled and really I understand why they cancelled it. But it was a bit of a shame for all the drivers who really wanted to end this season well, but they didn't have the chance to. So thank you for watching this video and all the videos all year long. I, uh, as I said in my F1 video, I will keep you updated about what we'll be doing next year in a video that will come by the end of the, the month. Uh, like, share, subscribe, don't forget to go on Facebook and on Twitter to follow what will be GP2 next year clearly with the test that will be going. Uh, on Wednesday. Like, share, subscribe and see you under the checkered flag of Bahrain next year.